Yo, what's good guys? It is JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Nobody Spent Road to Glory and one of the final Friday promos of the year. Next Friday, we are going to be getting the next set for the new rookies and hopefully an Invincible Zion because where is he? I don't know. And the week after that is the end of Season 9 and the end maybe of 2K21. And at that point in time, they'll probably do guaranteed invincible packs. So obviously that's not like a new promo, it'll just be more invincible cards. So today, fan favourites number two, tomorrow the next set, and then invincibles, and that's all we've got left, which is very sad. But as for today, we've got two new GOAT cards. GOAT Kobe and GOAT Magic. We knew they were coming, and that come through they have. And then we've got Invincible Kawhi Ben Simmons. Oh boy. And Chris Stapp's poor Zing has got a new weekend of limited. We have got... I don't care about that, don't care about that. Uh, we have got new rewards in Triple Offline, we've got new rewards in Triple Online. I've already won eight games of Limited today. Eight, that's quite a lot for a Friday night. I've got the ring, which is great. I've got it game one in the middle. But as you can see here, there's three Hoff badges, Fan Favorites 1 and Fan Favorites 2 packs. And it's safe to say I haven't been rewarded very well for what we've been doing. We've also got the Loco to put in, and we have done a lot of XP. As you can see, we're now level 37, 102,000 XP. So we've got a diamond contract, and that diamond contract is going to get put onto Luka Doncic. And of course today, we opened up plenty of packs. 30 on my account, and I'll tell you guys which Dark Matters... Hello? Which Dark Matters that we pull. But before all that, ladies and gentlemen... It is a weekend, it is a Friday promo, which means there is a Sunday coming up. This Sunday will be a giveaway. Facebook.com slash JD Crossover. Last week, it was Goat LeBron James. And this week is uh, something that I didn't see out of any of my packs today. Number 24. Shooting guard from the Lakers, Mr. Kobe Bean Bryant. Goat Kobe. The card art has grown on me today. When I first saw it, I was like, meh. But now I'm looking at it again, I'm like, ooh. So, Goat Kobe, if you want a chance of winning him, all you got to do is be in the stream Sunday and be following facebook.com slash jdcrossover. And there is a Goat Kobe. Oh, boy. And we'll be trying him out during that stream. So, let's jump into it, everybody. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for the daily videos. And shout out to Goats the channel for their support. Eric, Cody Spooky, Kieran, Josh, and Trevor. Right, who is my favorite here? Uh, look at the little odd Isaac Bonga. It's got to be Kobe. It would be rude not to, an 80% going for Kobe. Nearly the same amount of people going for Isaac Bonga as Magic Johnson. Oofed, that's tough. XP, I think today we made about 10,000 maybe, which is still pretty good. Uh, what have we done? We have done out of this world stuff, I think. No, we haven't done any of those. We did some hyperdrive stuff. We did Jalen Brown, we did Josh Smith, we did Caron Butler, and we did Sean Elliott. So we did four of these, so that's 8,000 XP. We made right there. I'm sure we did something else. Did we not? Oh, we're trying to do Clay Thompson steals. That's it. So we're 11 out of 15 on Clay steals. So just four more with him. And we are done. We did Space Jam Clay today as well, which was 2,500. And yeah, that's all we did. So yeah, about 10,000 XP made today, which is pretty good. And then 2K have added in new XP. Obviously, fan favorites two coming in here. 2,000 for the Dark Ma 2,000 for the Opals, sorry. 2,500 for the Dark Matters. 3,000 for the Invincibles. And then 4,000 for the goats with um, some healthy original owner bonus here. Three original owners for 2,000. Then, of course, if you've got original owner Kobe or original owner Magic, it is a G, goddamn G. And then we also got some weird and random XP. Series 1 Dominique Wilkins. Do you remember we sold him yesterday? I sold him yesterday. Do you know how sad that makes me? Very sad. Uh, tip off West James Worthy, a card that came out literally day one. Uh, Kyrie Irving, LeBron Inferno. If you've got any of these cards, I would just recommend selling them. I had this Charles Oakley, and you best believe I sold him pretty damn quickly. Right, so first things first, Triple Threat Offline. Now, we have actually won a lot of games today. We're at 1696. We've now won 77 games this season. Still no Jerry West. Where are you? Uh, but now the vault has changed. So Jerry West is still there. Giannis is still there, but he, they have all been joined now by Zach Levine, Luka Doncic, Casey Otpala, and Patrick Williams. Patrick Williams, Patty Mills, and they are there until Monday. They're there until the 26th. So let me know if you've got anything good out of the vault. Like, do I really care about getting anybody other than Jerry West or Giannis? No. Does a Ruby card mean anything? No. Does Pink Diamond? No. Does Quantum Luca? Nope. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really all that fussed about that. Fan Favorites 2 Challenge, a full five-minute quarter game, which is kind of long, not going to lie. But uh, we'll probably do it for a free pack because why the hell not? And we haven't done any more domination today. 
We haven't done any triple online apart from a couple of XP games. Oh, that's the challenge we did actually. We finished Nick Anderson. That's what we did. We did 4,000 XP here. So yeah, we did make a lot of XP today, Jesus Christ. And that's for limited uh, two rings. You do like to see that. So we can stop at Hall of Fame badge, but we ain't gonna do that. We're gonna go for the three for Tony Kukoc next weekend. And this is a team I've been using. So it's been very, very good. It's Luca, Isaac Okoro, Ronde Hollis Jefferson, Matt Bonner, and Taco Fall. So Luca and Taco leading the way, as you love to see. But the first game, the ring was in the middle, which is great. But then after that, I I've got nothing. There are three Hall of Fame badges. There's Fan Favourites 1, there's Fan Favourites 2. I've got one Fan Favourites pack. That's it. So there's been six games where I've got no reward. There's six games where I've got, like, tokens or MT in the middle and then on the left. So, ugh, limited is testing my patience. You guys know I like my Hoff badges and I do want to get some of those packs, but they're going to have to do something uh, to make me want to play that. Uh, over the weekend. Right, let's have a look at the locker code today and see if we can get ourselves another pack. Because like I said, we've already opened up 30. I, I don't really want to open up any more. So if you can just give me some free ones, that will be fantastic. I will do the weekly challenge, so that'll put us at 32, which is a lot. Uh, and obviously that is Magic Johnson's number. So if Magic wants to come through... For me today, that'd be great, even though he's not that expensive. And we'll I'll go through all the prices of the new cards today. Because it is very surprising, I'm not going to lie. And there is a the Fan Favourites 2-pack. It's very surprising that uh, some cards are just so much cheaper than we thought they were going to be. Goat Magic isn't even all that. Don't die straight away. It's died straight away. That is so sad. Big up the badge pack from the Locker Code. I love that we're in the end of July and I get a badge pack from typing in the code. Makes me so rewarded, or makes me feel so rewarded. Let's go. Slippery Awful, yes, I wanted that. Right, let's open up some of these packs. So our position pack came from the weekly wheel spin, which was not Shaq for me, and I don't think it was Shaq for anybody. And we get Jalen Brown. Great wheel spin, rewarded. Uh, Pantheon Team USA pack, this is completing all the season nine level cards. Don't worry about it. Kyrie Irving. And uh, Diamond Contract, this is going straight on Luka Doncic. I'm not going to sell this one. Yes, I've had Luka for ages. Yes, I could have put the contract on him ages ago. But I didn't, alright? Allow me. We will put it on him now because we're going to do another 300 games of Triple Threat Offline. Nothing out of that either. Another 300 games of Triple Offline, so we might as well have him in the best position that he can possibly be. Right. I didn't want to show you this right away, but here we go. You can see it straight away. Um, here's some, I'm not even going to show you guys my Dark Matter pools from today, because I'm not going to lie, it's just sad. Uh, and yes, I did say plural. Pulls, indeed. So 30 packs. We pulled five Dark Matters. And you might think, damn, that's really good. No, it's really not. So five Dark Matter pulls, as you just saw, two Boris Diaz. He saw a Rudy Fernandez as well, but there was another Rudy Fernandez. So two Boris Diaz, two Rudy Fernandezes, and then the other worst card that we can get, yep, Simbular. We also got Simbular. So five Dark Matter pulls, Simbular, two Boris Diaz, two Rudy Fernandezes. We had the fourth Boris Diaz, put him up for 100k, because I thought I had the first one. I didn't add the fourth one. He obviously didn't sell for 100k. It's just on me. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have tried to get anything for them. So I've got to release these cards up. They are literally about 10,000 MT right now, which is very, very sad. But we can cash in some MT right here. So these are all cards that I've used for XP today. So Devin Booker, Clay Thompson, Sean Elliott, CP3, Josh Smith, Simbular. Now, I managed to get 43k from him, which is very good. Because we did pull him quite early on. I believe it was like the sixth one up or something like that. 43k, not bad. One Rudy Fernandez sold for 13k. Big sad. Silver Ankle Breaker. If you've got Silver Ankle Breaker, sell it. It's up at 10k. And then Charles Oakley from the Gladiator set, 37,000 MT. So... We started today with 2.6 million MT. We opened up 30 of these packs, which is 360,000 MT. Ah, it hurts me. And uh, yeah, we've got we've got nothing to show for it. So it's been a little bit of a ropey day. I'm not gonna lie. As for the prices of these cards, and by the way, in 30 packs we only pulled two opals, which doesn't really make any sense to me. I can't even do the original owner XP. If I wanted to, out of 30 packs, my lord. you got Danny Ferry, first of all. Now, one thing to know about Danny Ferry, he is glitched. Uh, not in a way of, like, a glitch card. Um, he's actually glitched, as in you can't search for him on the auction house because 2K are great like that. Seems to go to Cavs, Dark Matter, Power Forward. So if you think, oh, he's not there, he's not a buyout, he is most definitely 
uh, buyout. And I believe he's about 50 to 60k. Yeah, look at that. It's about 60k. Now, one thing to note that about this card, he is a copy and paste of his Opal in terms of the stats. But, of course, his badges, they've taken a huge upgrade. I believe the Opal had, like, 33 to 35, something like that. And, obviously, the Dark Matter now coming in with 63, which is a lot. So, if you never got to play with a Danny Ferry card... I would, I would recommend. Daddy Ferry's been fantastic. And here he is, 6 for 10. You can see here, side by side, my one's got the Kobe shoes. My one's actually better because my one's got some Kobe's on it. Uh, but 33 to 63 Hoff badges, obviously, that is a huge, huge boost. So 50,000 MT for Danny Ferry. I think that's a pretty damn good price. You're then looking at discard value, really, for Simbi La, 15k. Discard value for Boris Diaw, 15k. I know they discard for 6k, but I'm talking about like, the lowest price that... Dark Matter sell for Rudy Fernandez, not set. He literally is Discar Valley. 6,000 MT. My God, that is sad. So all your hopes today hinged on Invincible. So the first one is Mr. Kawhi Leonard, the Claw from the Raptors. 300,000 MT for him. Uh, obviously, I've got his other card. Big sad. Now, is this Invincible much better? No, not really. Got 10 extra half badges, but there's not really much in it. But he's coming in at 300,000 MT, so that would be a very nice pull to get. You then got Kristaps Porzingis, about 250,000 MT. That picture looking very, very menacing, very, very intimidating. Uh, 7 for 3, 66 Hall of Fame badges. Obviously, one of these cards are absolutely fantastic. And then big boy Ben Simmons, 500,000 MT. Point guard Ben Simmons. Oh boy. Pretty damn good card, as you would expect. And that's not really a card that interests me, but it is what it is. And then we have the two GOAT cards. Obviously, the Kobe that we've just pulled. Lucky us. But first of all, we have Magic Johnson. Now, there was actually a space today, but he was selling for about 150k. He's very quickly corrected back to 250,000 MT for the GOAT Magic Johnson. 6'9", 74 half badges, point guard, shooting guard, as opposed to his invincible card, which is point guard, uh, center. And they got Kobe Bean Bryant. 700k right now. Point guard, shooting guard as well. So three goats of point guard, shooting guard, and then you've got LeBron, who's also point guard, and then power, uh, and then small forward. So they're really overdoing these point guard, shooting guards in this goat collection. I ain't gonna lie. And then what's that done to their prices? Well, first of all, what's the weekly wheels been done to Shaq's price? Nothing. Literally nothing. He's gone up, if anything, which doesn't make any sense. Magic's Invincible card, you can get it for just over 100k. That's a pretty good price. And then Kobe's Invincible card, I believe, is still at about half a million MT, which honestly isn't that bad. I'm not that mad at it. And I might actually try and pick up a Kobe for 500k. What do you think, guys? Should I should I ball out, buy Invincible Kobe for 500k, and then have Invincible Kobe on my team for the rest of the year? Oh, no, I'm tempted. And then Giannis, even though he's still in trouble online and still in trouble offline, still half a million MT. Very, very expensive. So no new Invincibles for us today. Uh, more trouble offline, but no Opals or no Invincibles still. And then uh, eight games of limited and no half badges to open up. Big sad. But that's going to do it from me today, everybody. See you all tomorrow. Have a great day. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.